Okay. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Promo for GoFundMe campaign. Um, new Guitar Fund. Promo for New Guitar Fund on GoFundMe.com. Hello, everyone. My name is Will Robertson, and. Oh, oh, excuse me. Woo! Take two. Wow. Mm. Okay, let me try it again. <clears throat> Okay. Promo for GoFundMe campaign. Promo for GoFundMe campaign. New guitar fund. GoFundMe.com slash new guitar fund. Take two. Hello everyone. My name is Will Robertson and this is my new guitar fund GoFundMe promo. I appreciate you tuning in. This is my guitar, a Crescent, that I purchased on eBay for $30. It's a bit out of tune because I, you know, I tried tuning it up and it doesn't stay in tune very well. And right now I am taking guitar lessons from a fellow in Merced named David Rose. I do appreciate all his hard work with me. Uh, I've only been I've only been uh, taking lessons with him for about a month at this point, um, but they're quality lessons, and I wish to continue. And that's the reason for this campaign is I'm asking for your help to get me a new guitar with case and con to continue uh, my lessons with David Rose at fifty dollars per month. Um, I'm asking your help, and I don't do this you know without you know some trepidation um, I'm a little nervous to be honest <laughs> but um, I think it's going to be beneficial for all of us the reason I want to take lessons guitar lessons as it were is because I wish to play the guitar not as a professional uh, gig rather as a, a hobby to be able to play for family and friends I know at uh, holidays, at get-togethers, what have you, you know, be able to, you know, pick up a guitar on random occasions and uh, strum out a tune, whether it be like uh, Happy Trails, you know, or uh, On the Road Again, or, or some other country western hit, uh, you know, Bob Wills, Hank Snow, um, you know, one of the old timers, you know, that are long since dead, or or one of the newfangled guys even, but I'm more of a old uh, oldies music kind of person but whatever that, that's not that's not the issue um, so I'm just asking your help in raising the funds because uh, well I need some help in, in that area <laughs> and your advice would be appreciated as well I uh, I'm not I'm, you know I'm not familiar with musical instruments you know my only previous experience of musical instruments was back in junior high uh, I think it was my Oh, I think it was seventh grade, maybe it was sixth grade. I don't remember exactly what year uh, that I took. Maybe it was, it was probably sixth grade. I think it was sixth grade. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, I took band class that uh, that one year, and I played the trombone. I guess I tried to. Was never very good at it. Never was. But I, I I lack rhythm, and I don't uh, deny that. I don't hide it. I how can I? <laughs> I have no rhythm. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm just hoping that, you know, through all these lessons and constant practice, I can gain the rhythm that I need to be able to play this quality uh, instrument. Well, this, low, this is a low quality instrument. Uh, David let me borrow a higher quality guitar uh, for a period here so that I can, because there is a difference. Um, the reason I need a newer guitar, not just that this one doesn't stay in tune, and also, it, now it's probably hard to see on the video here, but the distance of the strings to the fret, uh, fretboard, to the board, uh, the distance is, um, well, there's a bigger difference in distance between this low quality guitar 
and uh, a higher quality guitar. You know, the, the spacing is uh, decreased on a higher end, higher priced guitar, and that makes it easier to play the guitar. See, on, on here I have to really press down, and again, I'm not sure how well the video shows, but um, yeah, I'm not, probably doesn't show very well, but that's the difficulty I'm having is holding down the strings like they're supposed to be to the board so that the notes can be played, like the, the D note or D chord, I'm sorry, uh, using the proper terminology here, uh, the D chord. So on this, on my crescent here, yeah, it doesn't sound very good. Um, so, but on the guitar that David is letting me borrow, This Yamaha, the distance is, you know, a fraction of that, probably half or, or thereabouts. And so I'm able to play the D chord uh, much better. Let's see, getting the fingers. The other problem I have is training my fingers on my left hand to make the necessary moves. There we go, second fret, third fret, okay. And then D chord. <laughs> It's much easier to play the chords on this with a um, shorter distance to the board between strings and board. And so that's this is the kind of guitar, this is the uh, price range. I'm not, he didn't tell me what the price range was on this baby, but uh, it's an oldie. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, I'm guessing probably, I'll probably need at least 400 for the guitar itself. About 400. And another, what, 200 or so for the case, and the rest of the money would be spent on monthly lessons. Um, $50 a month is what uh, David is charging me. He's a quality teacher, really like him and, and how he teaches, and so I look forward to continuing for many months to come. Um, so I, I probably get a decent guitar, maybe down to about 200 250 for a decent guitar I'd be willing to sell it for. Um, you know, I'd, I'd prefer to get a more expensive guitar, but I'm not going to splurge. You know, I'm going to try to make them, the most of the money will go towards the guitar lessons themselves. Okay, I have a pick. I, I have a couple picks from friends, and I have this guitar that I'm borrowing. Now all I need is um, your help to pay for the lessons and a new guitar and case. So, thank you for listening. You visit uh, my GoFundMe campaign at GoFundMe.com slash New Guitar Fund or go to my Facebook page where you'll see uh, regular updates. You know, Facebook.com slash Riker17 uh, or follow me on Twitter, Twitter.com slash Riker17. So thank you for listening. Thank you very much for your patronage and I uh, look forward to your feedback. Okay.